What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have some bad news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 14 all the way up to 14.8. Well iOS 14.8 is no longer signed and that's a very important thing and I'm going to tell you why in a couple of seconds. So this video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to back up the content on your device and of course to manage the photos, videos and music on your device. Definitely check it out in the links below, it has a lot of features. So as you can see, if you navigate here on my website on iDeviceCentral.com and select iOS signing status, it says in here that iOS 15.0.1 and 15.0 are signed, however 14.8 is not. Well, weren't we supposed to get 14.8 aside from iOS 15 signed? Well, yes, Apple did include a message or some sort of warning in settings in there when iOS 15 was released. And that warning or notice said that you can still use iOS 14.8 if you want to and you will receive security updates if you don't want to migrate to iOS 15, so people thought that iOS 14.8 will stay signed forever. Well, apparently it wasn't the case. Apple stopped signing 14.8 yesterday, which means that iOS 15 is all that it is currently. So why exactly is iOS 15 that bad? It's supposed to be this new great iOS system with a lot of features and things like that, right? Well, wrong. For jailbreak purposes, iOS 15 is like the worst version to be on, especially because of the changes with the root file system remounting and and so on. Now Coolstar posted this on the Cilio Discord a couple of days ago back on September 1st. They said quote at everyone early heads up regarding iOS 15. The jailbreak will be rootless and will most likely be looking at having the jailbreak files under private preboot procurses. File system layout is still a work in progress so stay tuned for more details coming up. We might provide an option for iOS 14 devices to use rootless environment however it will only be used for development purposes. iOS 15 will require it however thanks to the Cilio root fs and this applies for both Torin 15 and odyssey rain 15 what this means is that even check rain is affected by this problem and it's of course understandable so what exactly happened with ios 15 apple completely sealed the root file system you know the place where you put all the files for the jailbreak and so on where you install cydia or cilio binaries that are necessary for the jailbreak to function well in ios 15 they silently added a feature that will detect that you actually modified or remounted the file system System and they will send your device into DFU mode forever. You will have to restore your device to make it work again. So a jailbreak the way you know it, like Torin, Uncover, Checkrain and so on, will not be possible because all of these remount the file system and write to the file system. Now for those of you who are unaware, there are two different partitions on every device. There is the mobile or var partition, which contains all the user information which is bound to change, like application data and stuff like that, so that one is a little bit more dynamic. And then there is the system partition, the one that we write to when we jailbreak. That's where you install Falsa or Twix or Cydia and so on, and that one is not supposed to change, it never has been supposed to change. So what these jailbreaks did was to basically remounted as read and write instead of read only and they would write their files there which was necessary for jailbreak purposes on all known jailbreaks. Now with iOS 15 that's no longer possible so they have to do rootless or basically to write the files in a different way in a different place in the dynamic partition in the dynamic partition but that would require major rewrites to all the jailbreaks and most of the tweaks because those jailbreaks and those tweaks expect to have rootfs remount and of course read write access to that, but they don't anymore. So while it's not impossible to jailbreak iOS 15, this will be a major hurdle to overcome. So the fact that iOS 14.8 is no longer signed is a very bad thing because iOS 14.8 was the last version to stay on that still supported rootfs remounting. So in a way, 14.8 was the last version to support the traditional jailbreaks like Torin or Uncover or Checkrain the way they were designed. Now this is not the end of the jailbreaking, those will be updated no problem as cool are said, they already have ideas on how to do that, but still it's a bad thing that 14.8 got unsigned because now if you update your device or restore it, it will go to 15, will it have all those problems. So yeah, definitely don't update iOS 15 and do know that 14.8, the last iOS version to support rootfs remounting, is no longer signed. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.